guys and welcome to today's exciting video which is gonna be a review on two brand new perfumes from one of my most favorite indie brands which is Zoologist. So if you have never heard or tried Zoologist perfumes then you should definitely check out their official website the link to which you will find in the description box down below so check it out and what I love the most about Zoologist is definitely their concept because each of their fragrances represents a certain animal and you can find such animals as elephant, sea bat, hummingbird, chameleon, dodo and uh, many more exciting ones uh, within Zoologist line and their two brand new additions are squid and bee. Yes, when I received these for a review, I was so excited because I remember how much I enjoy them when I first tried them out last year in Milan and uh, I am super excited to tell you about these, but if you have already had a chance to try these two new ones out, please let us all know what you think about them and what do you think about Zoologist in general. Do you have favorite perfumes from this house? I definitely do and I plan to do a top 10 of my most favorite Zoologist perfumes by the end of the year, so make sure to like this video in the end if you enjoy it and if you're new here feel free to subscribe and with that being said, let's get started talking talking about the bee and the squid. So I don't know with which one I should start, probably with the bee, right? Because it attracts everybody thanks to this absolutely marvelous and adorable bottle, which is yellow, of course it is, because it is about the bee and bee is about the honey and honey is yellow. Well, when you look at this box, which looks just like a honeycomb, you fell in love with this uh, perfume right away and uh, the packaging makes it worth blind buying. So this is actually a special edition and it is designed by Cristiano Canali and I just love the portrait of the animals on Zoologist perfumes because they all look so fancy and just very very posh, you know, and this is kind of like the queen of all the bees and when you open the box you have the story of the perfume by the way each fragrance has its own story written so beautifully just check this out the spring day seems still and peaceful yet beneath the wildly splattered canvas of a blossom strong meadow thousands engage in a desperate race for survival and it goes on and on and on and then we have the notes of the perfume and some other information about the perfume and the perfumer but I really need to show you the bottle I don't want to put the box away so let's just stare at it but guys I'm just in love with Zoologist bottles and in my opinion they don't receive enough attention from reviewers because you guys they feel so good in a hand. This shape is so unique. It's really um, cut it. It's sharp. It's so so luxury and I also really like uh, the cap which I always mention in all of my Zoologist reviews and the links to them you'll find down below in the description box and of course the portrait of the animal. So B looks extra cute but let me tell you how it smells because that is probably why you are here right so those of you who love honey themed perfumes here's a spoiler yes it is about honey of course it is but here is the deal when i first tried it in milan it was on the blotter and i enjoyed it very much you know my grandfather was a beekeeper i tell that in every video in which i review honey focus fragrances so i'm very familiar with uh, wild scent of honey and beeswax and honeycomb and all of uh, those things so when i received bee i was extra excited and i sprayed it on my wrist and i was just like Oh my god, what happened? Is it the same scent that I smelled last year? Because, you guys, the opening is so intense and I'm not joking. It's just like diving into a sticky, sweet honey. It's full-on gourmand right away and uh, it's quite overwhelming. So the next day my boyfriend came over and he enjoys Zoologist perfumes and of course uh, that 
box spoke to him so we tried it on him and it grew on him even more than it did on me and uh, it was so candy like on him so the next person that wanted to try B was my mom and she likes to overspray her perfumes and she wanted to wear it while taking down the Christmas tree and I told her mom this is an intense bold perfume for going out and she was just like I will be careful please 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 so I applied just a little bit on her body and she just smelled of a walking bee and I could smell this scent here is a deal guys that's something that will tell about the performance in the next room while she didn't leave the living room so she smells beautiful springy meadow that smells of blooming flowers and bees that are gathering the nectar of those opulent flowers. To me it smells definitely of honey and my most favorite part about it is definitely the opening which smells of gingery, spicy, wild honey authentically and beautifully. Later some flowers appear such as orange blossom. We also have mimosa in there, broom and heliotrope. And in the base we have sweet notes such as Tonka, vanilla, benzoin, musk, labdanum and sandalwood. So my favorite part is definitely the opening because it is very vivid, it is so juicy, it is ginger, it's so so jelly and I like the texture of this perfume even though it's sticky too. But in the dry down it's powdery which I like but at the same time it's just like it's not as bright as it was in the opening but I like that um, it is not annoying even though it's pretty bold. So this perfume is going to be great for spring and summer just because it is very sunny and positive and is definitely created for the lovers of floral and very sweet sugary honey scents. If you are one of them then B should be definitely on your must try list. And with that being said we are moving on to a completely different fragrance which is squid and just look at this squid like he is so so fancy and I love that so very much so before I tell you how it smells I want to show you the bottle once again because when B was really yellow and bright squid as it's supposed to be is beautifully blue and just look at this color I don't know if my camera can show you the color authentically but it is so freaking beautiful and it just represents the depth of the ocean that is captured in this squid and this is indeed an aquatic perfume surprise surprise did you expect that coming so you guys I am that person that stays away from aquatic perfumes. I don't really care about them, basically because that is not necessarily my type of a scent that I would wear on a daily basis. I actually find them quite challenging and not that wearable. But this is not only the most wearable aquatic in my collection, but also the one that I would actually love to put on myself, what is most importantly. So, here's the deal, guys. Squid opens with truly aquatic marine scent that reminds me of being on vacation somewhere by the sea and when you wake up you breathe in that fishy air which smells salty and guys this is the most salty perfume I know and it is really salty and I personally really enjoy salty scents because they remind me of the time when your skin is heated up by the sun and it's sweaty and salty and sexy so this is really salty i'm not kidding wow this is literally salty and there is a note of ink which is so creative and i can only smell it when i sniff on the bottle when i apply it on my skin it's salty and very very aquatic it smells of the ocean like really of the ocean and after five minutes beautiful delicate sweetness appears which is smoky and that's like so mind-blowing this perfume is so exciting and I love all stages of it 
but mostly I love the dry down because in the dry down that's some sort of aquatic magic. It's salty, it's sweet, it's oceanic, it's so so good. It's even a little bit animalic, elusive, very unisex, perfect for any type of occasion. Definitely in my top five favorite zoologist perfumes. This is so surprising and this should be checked out literally by everybody. It doesn't matter if you like or hate aquatic perfumes. Squid is something truly special and I really really enjoyed. I love how easy going it is and my mom fell in love with it. That is the first zoologist perfume that she loves and I give it to her and she loves to wear it and I love to smell it on her and even if you go overboard with squid it is not as dangerous as with the bee. And do you know what's the coolest part about squid? Probably you've noticed that a lot of zoologist perfumes are full-on and pungent and uh, quite challenging. Well, that's not the case with squid because it is beautiful from the opening till the dry down. And that, my friends, completes this review on two brand new zoologist perfumes. Let me know which of these two you would like to check out. Maybe both. That would be right decision because look at the colors. That reminds me of Ukrainian flag. So, so cool. Blue and yellow. Very contrasting, but actually that is a nice duo that you can actually wear together. So guys, let me know what you think about this review and what are your favorite zoologist perfumes. And if you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like it, subscribe, ring that bell to get notifications, follow me on my social media and stay tuned. Smell good. We'll see each other in my next one. Bye guys.